Hey planner friends, how's it going? Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Ryan and this is A Man With The Plans. And you've guessed it, we're in the budget notebook. And I have my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner here. And we are doing the July budget report card. And this is the first time I've ever done one of these, so bear with me, I'm kind of getting used to it and my feel for it. But um, I feel like it's gonna help keep me accountable towards some of my goals. So we're gonna go through the good, the bad, and the ugly, which there is many of this month. Um, but before we do that, I figured, um, for those of you that are new to some of this budgeting stuff, um, I'm following the Dave Ramsey plan. I use my dry erase markers here, and I left the baby steps here right on the front. I will do a separate video for this, um, and I actually there's a bunch of other folks that have walked through it as well. Um, really helpful stuff. I'm currently on this step here, so I have my $1,000 emergency fund, um, and I'm in the middle of baby step two, which is paying off all debts from small to largest. Um, and so I... A lot of you really like these budgeting videos and I'm so glad it keeps me accountable and I'm glad you enjoy them. So let's go ahead and dive in. You'll notice the first thing that has changed is um, everybody had their fun new tabs in their new Erin Condren's. Um, so I went ahead and I had these around. They're these little Avery like sticky note ones which are typically meant for page flags for like being able to read a source of something in um, a textbook. But I thought, you know what? Since I'm going to be using this until the end of the year, because I do feel like I like to keep my fiscal stuff in like one annual calendar year, um, I'm going to keep using this until December. Um, I will order my new one. We can do a move-in video about that too. Um, but I figured I would throw some tabs in myself. And I have to say, it's been really helpful for me. Um, they do stick out. They did stick out a little too far, but the fact that you can move them like this um, is pretty handy. Um, I will leave if I can find them. I know they're by Avery. If I can find them, I will leave the link down below if you'd like to Franken Planner this, um, if you have the current edition instead of having to pay for the new one right away. Um, but so here was June, and let's go ahead. And here is July. So you'll notice that I track my daily spending, and it's probably hard for you all to see because I did it in pencil. Um, but I track all of my daily spending um, here. So you'll notice it's no spend, no spend, and then it has the amounts. Um, and then I track my bills, which I have planned for over here. Overall, though, if you look at the month, um, I will say that I've done a pretty good job of no spends. Um, we got to 13, which is pretty good. That's a third of the month, which is usually um, not how well I've done. Like if we look back at June, oh God, what did we have? One, two, right. So um, yeah, I get caught with piddly expenses that add up every day. Um, that's really what it is, and I know that, so I'm trying to work on it. So 13 is a definite improvement. Um, I'm proud of that. I do think a large portion of that was that I was away for 10 days. So most of the those nights, you know, one, two, we had one, two, three, four, five, six of those nights where I wasn't spending any money, which is kind of convenient. But then, you know, you also have these nights of like $4 for laundry, coffee and a salad at work, we went grocery shopping, you know, little stuff that I still, I had spent, I got a little bit of gas when I had my loaner car from the dealer, had to take care of that. That was the only expense that day. So, you know, it's like, should I do like a light spend today? Um, but anyway, let's go into the budget. Um, I tried doing a week by week recap. Um, I fell off the bandwagon, I'm gonna admit it. Um, but let's look at the numbers here and I'm gonna zoom you all in so you can get a little bit more in depth. Okay. So, um, I already pre-filled this out because it took a little bit of math and the, the page I just showed you, coordinating expenses back and forth was a challenge. So, my actual income for the month was actually $178 higher than normal. I don't know why. I haven't really gone through my check. It was just nice to have the extra and it came in handy to offset some of the issues earlier. Um, the transfer for student loans for my parents, um, I mentioned this in another video that my parents and I split my loans technically. So the minimum payments we split in half and then anything extra is me putting towards it to get it done faster. Um, my mom somehow gave me more money for some reason. So that was $50 over. Thanks mom, <laughs> if you're watching. Um, so my total income was at 30, was 37, uh, 37,000, I wish, $3,758.73, which was the differential of $228.73. Awesome, starting it off a little bit higher than normal. Um, my rent is the same. Um, it will be going up probably in September. Um, I'm looking at to either move or renew here. They're upping my, my rent, so we'll plan for that. Um, my internet is $74.91, um, and so that's about, that's saving me $5.09. 
under. Um, I probably will update next month. Did I actually do that to the exact amount? Let's see. Was I smart or did I leave this loader to be successful? Yeah, so I updated it so I know the exact amount. That's what we have. That's what they're charging me. So it'll be perfectly accurate for next time. Laundry, um, $20. It's $4 a load in total. That's, dr that's wash and dry. Um, I did a bit of laundry from all the traveling, but I was on $2 under. Um, gas, I really didn't use a lot of gas for my vehicle since I was away for a lot. So we were under $23.83, which is pretty great. Groceries. Yeah, um, I was $100.29 over. Um, part of this was that I included in this number, I believe, a Sam's Club trip that we did when I was at the lake with my family. Um, we needed to get ice for a wedding and all sorts of other stuff, so I went ahead and did that. Um, so in terms, I'm gonna mark, go through and mark these for ones that we are under, so I'll check the ones that we have savings on so that we can say we talked about them. And then the red pen, which I think is the bane of everyone's existence from school, yeah, um, I was significantly under. I also think I was spending groceries on silly stuff, and I think the thing that really sent me over the edge was that I forgot that we had our staff picnic, and I had to bake cupcakes. So I had to run out and get a full set of baking supplies for those, all the things that go into that, which was like $25 at Target. So overall, not great for groceries. I'm gonna tight tighten things down and really do a freezer clean out, I think, in this month. So. We'll hope that we can stick to that for next month. Um, restaurant is the next one. I was, it was came in at $212.61, which is $71.61 over the $150. This continues to be a struggle for me, these two categories. Well, restaurant and coffee tend to be the two big ones that I have a problem with. Um, but yeah, just adds up, you know, drinks here, meeting a, for a friend for an appetizer there. It just all sort of caught up with me. Um, again, just gotta be cognizant of it. If you have any suggestions on how to have, do some fun quality time without costing an arm and a leg, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Um, the next thing is coffee. And I have to say, I know I'm only $5.45 under, but this is huge for me. Um, in previous months, I would get to work, I walk to work, stop, get a coffee, um, treat myself some days if I needed a latte or something because I was feeling... I don't know, whatever, some kind of way about something. Also, my office has a habit to let's go and get coffee. Um, that's a thing that we do. Um, so this being under for me is a big win, and I'm proud of that. I'm hoping to even cut it down even more. I've used my French press for work. I have a, a pitcher in my um, in my fridge right now of iced coffee that's left over, which has been fantastic. So really proud of that one. It's the habit change, I think that's the real win. Um, this one, again, I had nothing budgeted for clothing because I thought I had my outfit for the wedding picked out, but then I received a call from my cousin and I heard what the groomsmen were wearing, which somehow matched what I was wearing, and I needed a new outfit. So to the outlets we went, and I got some decent pieces and I bought more than I should have, so I spent more, but I will use those pieces for, some of it's for work actually, and for next summer too. So, you know what, I'm just going to own up to it, that's what happened. I didn't end up getting a haircut in the month of July, so that was nice. I saved all that money. Um, the New York trip, um, I spent more money. Part of this was that my cousin's wedding reception, there was an after party at a hotel nearby, and they were all staying there, and my, my brother and my two cousins and I got a room um, last minute under the block rate, which I laid out the money for, so that was like $90 of this overage. Um, and also, I forgot that I did not order my checked bag fee. Um, I didn't pay for that initially, so it was $25 each direction, so there's 50, um, which is most of this category, I will admit. Um, but still, I was significantly over, which was kind of a bummer. Um, but still, for in terms of the one vacation I've taken all year, um, between the flight and this being under $600 in total, I'm not too mad. Um, Obviously, you're not supposed to be vacationing on the Dave Ramsey plan, but a wedding, I feel like, was licensed to be there for a family member. I was part of the wedding. I did a reading and stuff, so I'm just going to say that that was fine. Uh, subscriptions. This includes my gym membership. We were under by $3.45. Um, yeah, I'm at the point now where I kind of know what's coming. Um, I am thinking about canceling my gym membership, so we'll see. Um, sinking funds went as planned, so nothing there. Um transferred it back over. I will say that you'll notice in my August report card, um, we had my car issue, which came from my sinking fund. Uh, it was $300. So between that and the tabs, there's really not much left in there right now. So that's gonna be my goal is to replenish that. 
As for car tabs, they're not included in the calculation down here. Um, but I budgeted 280. They came to 260, 295, um, and that's with the processing fee for the state. So you know, it happens. So we saved 1705, which came in handy when I had to get my repairs for my car. The repairs were under warranty, but they did a, a larger scale service, tire rotation, all those things. Um, I did it at the dealer, which I could probably have saved the money on. Sorry for the door slam. Um, so then the next thing, which is where I kind of caught up for all the discrepancies and overspends, is instead of $826, I put 500 to my student loans, 400 for a big payment, plus 100 of my auto minimum payment, which means that we were under by $326. So not great. This is the goal we're working towards. Um, and then my car payments were normal, 351 and then my, my second student loan is 465 So what this means to me is that I've got this left over after all is said and done from this month's budget. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put half of it into my sinking fund and half of it towards my student loan payment. So you'll notice, I'll make a note of that moving back in there. Um, I'm really concerned that this is only at like $35 at the moment, which we need to fix. So that's my goal with that, with that any leftover total expenses for the month minus the sinking fund uh the sinking fund contribution for the tabs came to three thousand five hundred and forty five dollars and ten cents um and total income was three hundred three thousand seven hundred fifty eight dollars and seventy three cents which is why we have that that surplus of two hundred and thirty dollars and sixty five cents so overall um I was pretty good in a lot of categories, and then there's a couple biggies that really kind of just threw me for a loop. But hey, no budget is ever perfect. Um, it's something you gotta strive for. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I plan to do one of these every single month for a report card. Um, let me know if there are any other budget-related videos you'd like in the comment box below. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Um, for social media, I'm on Instagram at, at @manwiththeplans, and I also have a Facebook group called A Man With The Plans as well if you want more content there as well. Hope you are kicking butt with your financial goals and have a great rest of your day. Bye, planner friends.